weapons are a big part of GT Online. In almost every scenario you can get yourself into, you will need to use guns to protect yourself or to complete a task for money. Either way, to be the most deadly and efficient killer, you will need to have the top tier guns. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you the best and only weapons you need to become a GT Online master assassin. So getting right into the video, we will start with the category handguns or pistols. And the first pistol I have on this list is the AP pistol. This is by far the best pistol overall. It is very easy to hit headshots with and the AP pistol also has a very quick fire rate to be a handgun. It shreds through enemies. However, where the AP pistol is most useful is while driving. You can legit laser enemies with this gun and it is by far the best gun to use in non-weaponized vehicles. You also will have 36 bullets in each mag if you equip the extended magazine. Reloading in general is also really quick so this gun will literally shred all opponents or enemies that are chasing you. The second handgun I recommend you have is the up anatomizer and well this weapon is not like all the other weapons on this list. The up anatomizer has a very special use case because it's not a weapon you really want to kill with. Where the up anatomizer is most useful is to knock down fences you can't climb or get vehicles unstuck from different places on the map. For example, a cell vehicle. I bet sometime in your career of playing GT Online, you have got some random ass delivery vehicle stuck somewhere, like a post op van or something, and the mission is done because you can't get it out of there. Well, with the up anatomizer, there is still hope. This thing can get vehicles out of any, and I mean any situation. It's insane what this gun can do. Basically how it works, you just shoot it and it bounces whatever it hits up in the air or to the side that you shot it from. As I said, it can also knock down fences that you can't climb. So instead of walking around the whole fence, you can just shoot it down quickly with the up and atomizer. And another thing that's quite nice with this gun is that it can also be used to fight oppressive Mark IIs, but it is not very effective since the chances of you hitting them on a flying motorcycle are not that high. You would need to be pretty experienced with the up and atomizer and also have pretty good aim to hit someone on a Mark II that actually knows what they're doing. However, most of the people who use the Mark II for griefing are literally brain dead. But on a rare occasion, there might be someone who has some knowledge. The next category is the machine guns. And here we only have one and that is the Combat MG, more specifically the Combat MG Mark II. The Combat MG Mark II is crazy good for clearing out large areas with a lot of enemies. It also deals a bit more damage than the ARs in this game, so if your enemies have some more HP than usual, like some kind of tank or an enemy with some armor, then the Combat MG Mark II is perfect. If you equip the extended clip to the Combat MG, you will get 200 rounds per mag, which is in insane. That's over double, if not triple, what most guns in this game can hold in one magazine. Therefore, you won't ever be caught up in having to reload mid-fight. However, if it does happen, you should be scared, because the reloading on this gun is not that quick. It's alright, but it's not that quick. But as I said, 200 rounds is more than enough for every situation or fight or whatever you're doing. Really, the only bad thing I can say about the Combat MG Mark II is the recoil. Sometimes that recoil can take over a bit. However, in this game, when you go first person with a gun, it negates almost all recoil from that weapon. So that means that if you go first person with the combat MG, you will be an absolute monster. You will legit laser your enemies down. And also, if you play on controller with aim assist on, it's borderline hacking at this point. The next category to talk about is the shotguns. And I'll just say it right away, the best shotgun shotgun in the game is the assault shotgun. The assault shotgun is probably one of my most used weapons in GTA Online. It is exceptional for clearing out buildings or smaller areas. With its powerful shots and extremely fast fire rate, this gun becomes a nightmare for whoever you meet in this game. You can also equip an extended magazine to the shotgun, which will up the mag size from 8 to 32 rounds. That is more than enough to clear out a full room of enemies before you 
have to reload. You can also attach a silencer on this shotgun, which I myself have had for quite a long time. However, I did take it off the shotgun because sometimes when you shoot certain enemies, you don't one shot them because of the silencer. They only have a slither of health left. So if you take off the silencer, then basically all enemies will be one shot. While if you have silencer on, sometimes it will not be a one shot. However, that is not a big deal because it is so it has such a quick fire rate either way so you can just spray through them next shotgun on the list is the pump shotgun mark ii and the thing that makes this shotgun so good is the explosive slugs you can equip yep you heard right explosive slugs the best use case for the explosive pump shotgun mark ii is against vehicles it is very neat to have against police cars and helicopters to not get overwhelmed by enemies with the explosive pump shotgun you will one shot normal cars and two shot police choppers you can also use it against other players where shooting them will knock them over and leave you with an extremely easy kill the next category on this list is the assault rifles and this is probably the most important gun category in the entire game and the first gun we have on this list is the special carbine mark ii this is the king of ars and should be your go-to gun in most scenarios in g2 online it has great accuracy and good firepower. If you equip the extended magazine to the gun, you will get 60 rounds per mag. Reloading it is also pretty quick. It's very easy to just drag your stick a bit up on your controller and just hit headshots instantly. You can take out a full room of enemies in one mag. I'm not even kidding. If you just hit headshots on every one of them, just flick your stick up, you can hit headshots on all of them. They are dead instantly this is legit basically just the best weapon in the game however as you may have already noticed we have no silenced weapons yet well the carbine rifle mark ii is the perfect choice it is very similar to the special carbine mark ii only the special carbine is a bit better with some more firepower the accuracy on the carbine rifle mark ii is very good so therefore it makes it a great weapon to use for stealth to hit easy one-shot headshots. You can generally just use this weapon for everything stealth. You do not need a pistol for that, but if you do really want a pistol that is silenced, you can just throw a silencer on the AP pistol. It works very well actually. Now the next category in GT Online is the snipers category. And again, here there is only one correct choice and that is the heavy sniper mod. Mark II. At a reasonable distance, the Heavy Sniper Mark II standard ammo can be a one-shot kill, and from further distances, you will need two shots to kill. By far, the best ammo to use is the Explosive Ammo. The Explosive Ammo has the same ability as the Pump Shotgun Mark II to knock down an enemy if it does not kill them in one shot, making it, again, a very easy kill. But for me personally, I use it most for taking out vehicles such as choppers or cars. Most vehicles will only need one hit before blowing up but helicopters will need two shots and if they are armored like some of the helicopters in this game that are weaponized not police choppers they will take even more shots this sniper is very easy to use and it can be a great help against other player jet griefers the explosive sniper is a direct counter to jets a few hits and that jet is not it's nothing anymore that jet is only dust the next category is the heavy weapons category and to start off you will need either the minigun or the widowmaker in your loadout these two are basically just the same the widowmaker is practically just a reskin of the minigun mechanically they are exactly the same me personally i prefer the minigun just because I think it's cooler and I don't think the Widowmaker is supposed to be in a game like GTA. But that's another discussion. Mechanically, they are exactly the same. They work the same. They are both really good at taking out vehicles such as helicopters by just shooting the rotors on uh, the back of the helicopter. It will instantly go down or even just a driver or just spraying all over the place on different cops, different enemies in a large area. It can very easily kill a lot of people. 
very quickly. So you should have the minigun in your loadout because it will come in handy at some point. Next on the list is the RPG and some of you might be surprised that I am not including the homing launcher but in my opinion the homing launcher is just a worse version of the RPG. Well if we look at it RPG has 20 rockets it can hold instead of only the 10 with the homing launcher. The RPG does more damage than the homing launcher so you will kill and destroy vehicles quicker than with the homing launcher and also the main thing about the homing launcher is that people use it for shooting down jets but in today's age of gt online that just doesn't work anymore and there's also a lot of better alternatives than the homing launcher such as the explosive sniper which i talked about earlier so therefore i think the homing launcher just becomes obsolete because the rpg is just a better version of it you will only need a bit better aim with the rpg but that should not be a problem if you have the explosive sniper and the explosive shotgun because if you need to aim a bit more you can just use them and then use the rpg at close range anyway let's move on the next gun i think you should have in the heavy weapons category is the rail gun this is a pretty new gun it has been in story mode for a long time but now it has finally arrived in gt online well the rail gun is great against cars weaponized vehicles jets and even oppressor mark twos however it is a bit difficult to use and this is because the railgun has a slight bullet travel so if you wanted to shoot down a jet far away you would have to aim in front of it quite a distance for it to hit the railgun also has no lock on so you can't lock on to players you can't lock on to vehicles if it, if it had that it would be extremely op but still it's still a great weapon to use just to take down jets maybe a press mark choose if you have that kind of aim and different vehicles and such now the last heavy weapon i think you should have is the grenade launcher slash the compact grenade launcher with the grenade launcher you can quick fire grenades behind cover to demolish every vehicle or enemy in front of you it is also great for reaching places where you can't see your enemy directly just fire a grenade from the grenade launcher up there and chances are that you will hit them the compact grenade launcher works basically the same only with lower ammo counts and you can also use it on motorcycles now the last category today is the explosives the explosives you want to have is firstly the sticky bombs i would think everybody knows that you need the sticky bombs by now because the sticky bombs are the best explosive in the entire game and this is simply because you can stick them to a surface and explode them with a click of a button whenever you want to these are great to use to place traps and if you'd like you could troll other players they are also great for throwing from your vehicle at chasing a safe the second explosive I recommend you should have is the proximity mines. The proximity mines works much the same as the sticky bombs, only with these they will be automatically detonated when someone or something enters its radius. The downside of these mines however is how easily they are to spot by non-NPC players. A proximity mine will make a distinct beeping noise as well as blinking red which can easily be seen in dark areas and therefore avoided. And the last explosive I think you should have is the grenades. And there is no real reason for these really, I just think they are cool and fun to use. Now that we have made you the ultimate loadout, I think it's time to earn some money with it. To do that, you can watch the video on screen right now. It's my top 10 best solo money making methods video and there I go through the most fun and highest earning activities in the game. Subscribing and leaving a like would also help me out greatly. God bless and thank you for watching. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>